Um, this is my bathroom sink. So this is a laptop fan right here. It's a typical brushless fan. Pull that from a Dell laptop. And as you can see, it doesn't spin. And then uh, I try to plug it into the computer and then try to spin it. It wasn't spinning and I did troubleshooting on using the BIOS and it said the fan wasn't uh, spinning. So I'm going to tell you how to approach this issue. First of all, you're going to have to get to the fan. Um, so you have to have open the fan, open the laptop up and then get the heat pipe off and then separate the fan, actual fan part from the heat sink. And then the next thing you, that you have to do is take out the screw to get to the actual fan. I already want unscrewed one fan. So there are two screws and a couple clips that are holding the fan. Now I took that off and then I'm just going to unclip this. Alright, so I successfully unclipped it and then now there's a fan and as you can see it's not it does spin but it just doesn't free spin usually if you just try to spin it give it a little force and then it spins so these are typical brushless fans and then um, the way these work is that this actual fan part itself is actually not connected to it you can see right here that there's a center rod there and then this is the actual motor part which has a bearing inside there and then works by the just like a motor and then usually what it needs is it needs some cleaning and then it needs some lubrication between the center rod and then the bearing to spin better so first of all I'm gonna wash this fan with water to get all the dust off um, this is just a plastic piece so you can put water onto it and this is after cleaning up water it's still wet but you can see there's really no dust into it and it's pretty clean and all this stuff you have to clean the dust on this one there are dust stuck inside that down there usually and then you can use a compressed air or hair dryer or vacuum cleaner basically anything they can blow out just anything not water because this is electronics so I'm gonna go ahead and clean that out too um, I use a compressed air and then I also blew on it you blowing mouth you're blowing air onto it actually gives quite a bit of air pressure to it so it should be good and then now what I'm gonna do is that um, to put this back on and then before I do that I'm gonna put some grease around it which I have it just a little bit amount right there you can use any kind of um, grease that you use on the car or just any kind of grease don't just don't pour too much on it because this is a pretty light fan and if you put too much it's going to give too much restriction. So I just apply uh, some grease on it and then you can try to lubricate it with your finger or just put it in. And then to put this back on just apply gentle force to it. And then just kind of make sure all the grease gets lubricated and take it out see if the lubrication is well in there and to me looks like it's well lubricated and then now you can see the fan actually spins now and gently um, press down on it a little bit and then just rotate it back and forth so you get a lot of grease in there correctly and then usually that's good 
Um, one thing you can try though right now is you can try to blow on it or put a hair dryer on it to see if the fan spins with some amount of wind. So I'm gonna try to blow a hair dry on it, you can see it spins. So now the fan free spins, that's a good thing, now it will move by itself. So now since we got the fan fixed, now we're going to assemble the fan back on and then all you got to do is just put it back into the laptop and you're good. Uh, if you have any questions, if you have some different kind of fan, which I doubt you do, um, you can definitely ask me questions to it, I can try to answer. But usually 90%, 99% of the laptops have these brushless fans because they're quiet, they last long, they're rather easy to manufacture than just like some kind of complicated bearing uh, fans. So I hope you guys um, got your fans spinning and then got your fan working. So any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching.